Welcome to the Long Road with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. And what are we doing today? We're sharing with you seven things that we don't buy anymore. To be honest, some of them we've kind of never been big on buying, but they are things that we typically do not buy. We were actually invited to be a part of a collab with Sensible Living with Money Mom. Um, and there were, I think, three others that are part of this collab and I'll have all of their channels linked down in the description. So be sure to go check out what they don't buy anymore. That's right, go check out their videos. We do wanna make one note before we start our list and that is is that just because we choose not to spend money on these things doesn't mean that that's necessarily right for you in your life. Uh, so just take which ones you feel like are a good idea for you and, and just throw out the other ones. You know, no yeah. big deal because you're doing what works for you. These are the things that work for us, so let's get to that list. All right, the first thing on our list of things that we don't buy anymore is decor, home decor. That's right. Right. We do have decor. We do have some, and we do have pictures that we hang on the walls. We have a running joke, though, that says anytime we hang pictures on the wall, we get ready to move again. Yeah, but, uh, it's, it's a requirement. Yeah. If we have all the pictures on the wall, it has to, we have to move. But we don't buy a lot of tchotchkes. We don't buy a lot of bric-a-brac. We have some things over here on our bric-a-brac shelf. You can see that's my Derek Jeter bobblehead when he got his 3,000 hit. But uh, we don't buy a lot of things like that. Uh, because it just clutters up your home. so we'll, More stuff to clean. That's right, more stuff to clean. We also don't have a lot of seasonal decor. We do have Christmas stuff like a Christmas tree, Christmas Christmas villages, all stuff that we've had for years and years. Decades. Uh, yeah, even. that we put yeah. out uh, every year. We don't buy a lot of, uh, we don't buy Halloween, Thanksgiving, uh, any extra Christmas stuff or anything else as far as that goes. No Arbor Day decor that we're going to put out on Arbor Day. Um <laughs> But, so we don't buy a lot of decor. So the first thing that we don't buy anymore is decor. Okay, so what's number two? Lots of kitchen gadgets. No. Yeah, we don't buy a lot of kitchen gadgets. No, no. I mean, and you know, as much as we love cooking, you will see us many times in our videos say we don't have that. Like, um, we don't have a flour sifter. We don't have a juicer. We don't have a garlic press. We don't have an air fryer. Yeah, not yet. Maybe one day. We don't have a Instapot. Right. But we do have a Keurig. That's we have our a Keurig. main kitchen gadget that we have because we like coffee. Yeah. So, so it's, it's nothing wrong with getting them, but we also believe in not overcrowding our kitchen and also just the amount of money and feeling like you have to buy something just because it's popular. So we just... We just don't. Just don't. All right. It's not Number three. Us. So... All right, so this one's gonna sound odd to you, but here we go, coupons. Uh, first of all, in this day and age, there's so many digital coupons you can get for free yep. that there's no reason to buy them. But I don't know the last time I actually purchased a physical newspaper and to buy the physical newspaper just to get some coupons out of it that are going to tell me that I have to spend a certain dollar amount or I have to buy a certain amount of products just to save a dollar on it. I've just found actually convinces me to buy more food than I actually needed to buy in the first place. So we don't buy anything like newspaper coupons or any other type of buying coupons, physical whatever. That's right. We don't buy that anymore. We don't buy those. Uh, number four is we don't buy gym memberships. Because usually what happens when you buy a gym membership is that you... Uh, you buy it, you go to the gym a couple of days and you don't go back. Yeah. Um, I, I do a lot of running uh, and so I do all my running outside. Uh, we do have a gym that's uh, a part of our uh, subdivision, that's a part of our rent. So we have that for free that we can take advantage of if we want to, but we don't buy a gym membership. And before we moved here, we did not have that option. Correct. So, and we still didn't have a gym membership. Correct. I exercise inside or either I go for walks and he runs. I so, run outside, so there you go. No need to spend money on gyms. Yep. Number Instead, we spend it on shoes. <laughs> that's right. What's number five? New cars. All right. Number five is new cars. We don't spend money on new cars. Not that we don't have a car. We do. We have two. Uh, have you seen our... Um, uh, what frugal living looks like video if not you can go check that out yeah. uh, but we don't buy new cars because once you buy a new car uh, once you roll it off the lot it loses about 20 to 30 percent of its 
uh, yeah. of its value once you drive it off the lot automatically. So we buy used cars and we pay cash for them uh, and um, we just don't buy new anymore. Number six is we don't buy things on credit. That's right. Uh, we save up. We yep. have sinking funds. We figure it out, but we don't go and ask for loans anywhere. We only use our credit card if we have enough money to pay it off yep. in the same billing cycle right. as we charged it. Yeah, we, we save up for it. We pay it off. Uh, we buy it in cash or we buy it on credit. And then we just pay it right off off the credit card before, uh, before the month is up. That's right. And finally, mm -hmm. <laughs> jumping off of that one, uh, we don't uh, buy Christmas gifts that we can't afford. That's right. We give our, uh, we have, we use the app called Gifter, and so our families are all on there and they, uh, they tell us what they want for Christmas or for birthdays or anniversaries or things like that. They have a list of things that, that we can choose from. Uh, we have a sinking fund just for Christmas gifts. Uh, and so by the end of the year, we'll have more than enough money to, to buy the Christmas gifts that we're going to buy for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, we go to the list, we choose it, and then mm -hmm. we use our sinking fund to pay for it. And we're not paying for it again in January, February, and March throughout the next year. So. And I can tell you, we have not always been that smart. We had times yep. when we thought, we got to make sure we get our kids something great. Let's just borrow some money. We don't do that anymore. That's right. Okay, so those are the seven things that we don't buy anymore. And once you know it's not about deprivation, uh, we have the things that we want. We buy the things that we want, but we save up for it and we pay them with cash. Uh, and then we're done with it. We don't have to worry about it anymore. That's right. Uh, drop us a comment below and let us know the things that you don't pay for anymore to save you money. Mm -hmm. uh, we'd like to know what what those things are that, that you don't like to pay for anymore. You we, may give us an idea. Yeah, give us of. some ideas that yep. we don't even know of. Uh, so drop that comment below and let us know. And before we go, a reminder, please don't forget to go check out the other channels, including Dawn from Sensible Living with Money Mom, who was our host yep. for this collab video, and also the other three channels that were included. They will be linked in the description. All right, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell for updates when we upload new videos on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and sometimes on the weekend, because you're seeing this one on Sunday. So you never know we're going to upload a video. Uh, with that said, I think that's going to do it today for The Long Run with Joel and Christy. I'm Joel. And I'm Christy. Don't forget it's The Long Run. Give yourself a little grace. Bye.